What's up YouTube, it's Dorian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install your NVIDIA Optimus drivers in Ubuntu 18.04 and get you up and running with your gaming and your videos and whatnot. So Ubuntu, of course, has always made it very easy. So what you're gonna do first is you're gonna search for software or just click through and browse manually. You wanna find the software and updates icon. It'll look different on yours depending on your icon set, but this is the window. You're going to go additional drivers and let it load up as it searches for your hardware. And then you're just going to choose using NVIDIA driver. You're going to click this, hit apply. I've already done it. And you're going to hit apply and it's going to ask you for your password, type in your password, and then it's going to take a little while. It's going to have to download all the drivers in the background and then install it. So it could take a little while, so be patient. And then once it's done, you're just going to hit close and restart your machine. Now, if you have an Optimus card and you have issues booting, please see my video on what to do after installing Linux. I'll put a link up here in the video. And then it's, it's just a quick run through on how to fix certain boot options, which machines with NVIDIA cards seem to have this issue. It's a power management issue. Check the video if you have problems anyways. That's going to install your driver, and then you're going to end up with this. Now, you can confirm a couple of ways that your drivers are working, LS PCI. So this is going to display all your PCI devices. So if you have an Optimus card, you're going to see VGA compatible controller, which is your Intel graphics, which is on board on your CPU. You're also going to see 3D controller, NVIDIA Corporation, yada, yada. So you can go here and put a dash K. This is gonna show you a lot more, but now you can see that you've, you've got them here. They are detected. The dash K is going to show you which kernels it's using. So this shows you a little bit more. Um, so you're just gonna go find it again, VGA compatible Intel Corporation, and you can see the kernel driver in use is i915. Scroll down a little bit here, and you're going to find your 3D controller, NVIDIA Corporation, GTX 960M, kernel driver in use, NVIDIA. So I know that my kernel drivers are being used. Another thing you could do is you could type GLX info, info, and it's going to show you a whole bunch of stuff that you could scroll through and you could look on your own. But what we're going to do is we're going to pipe, grep, Open GL, capital O, capital G, capital L, hit enter. So you're gonna see this, and you can see right here, NVIDIA Corporation, make sure it's the right one. It's gonna show you the, the driver that you're using. And lastly, you can do LSHW dash capital C display. And this should show you both your graphics cards. It's going to complain that you should do it. You should run it as super user. Don't worry about it. You could still see this information here, and you could see 3D controller, GTX 960M, configuration driver is NVIDIA, and then below you can see your Intel HD graphics, which are on board, driver equals i915. So now you've confirmed in more, way more ways than one that your graphics are indeed working. When you installed the NVIDIA packages and you rebooted, it also installed something that you'll find in your applications menu, NVIDIA X server settings. So fire this up and then let me just make this a little bigger and under thermal settings you click that and you'll be able to see the temperature of your gpu and right now because i'm recording and rendering video using my gpu it's a little warm normally it's sitting around 35 to 40 or 43 degrees on average another thing that you could do if you are running gnome you can have this handy little extension up in the corner fire up tweak tools install it if you haven't you can install it with sudo app install gnome dash tweak dash tool in the terminal or just look it up in the software center and install it that way as well and i have the extension here you can see nvidia gpu temperature indicator which you get from the gnome extensions website which i covered in my last video which i will put a link in the corner here gnome extensions what are they and how to get them you just search it install it, and then you'll be able to see your temperature here at any given time. So the last thing that I want to cover here, you have Prime Profiles, which lets you select the GPU you would like to use. I do not use this. I would not recommend using this, selecting Intel and then whatever, because this will do a lot of stuff in the background for you, 
but I've had it freeze on me several times and I didn't really look into it that much. I've only used this just to try it out and I don't like it. I'll show you what you actually should do. Fire up your terminal and you're gonna do prime select query. And this will show you what graphics card you're using right now. And now if you wanna switch to your Intel, you'll go sudo prime select Intel. Enter in your root password and it's gonna switch it to the profile and you're going to have to reboot after this. So it's not as convenient as using Opta Run or Primus Run for when you only want to use your GPU for a certain application. However, there are a lot of issues. There's stuff in the forum already specifically about 18.04, how there's issues, they're working on it. And it seems to me like they just recently got it working properly in 16.04. So I'm not going to wait for it to be fixed again in 18.04. I'm fine doing it this way. Yes, it takes two minutes. It won't take as long for you because as you can see, I have a lot of distros that it has to regenerate my grub configuration file for. So it takes quite a bit longer for me. But even then, I don't mind because if I know I'm going somewhere and I'm going to be running my laptop on battery, I will do this. I can reboot. Now I'm using Intel and I can go and do whatever I need to do and not have to worry about my battery as much. And then when I come back, I just run the same thing here, sudo prime select, but Nvidia instead, and it'll do the same thing. And then you have to reboot again. So this is slightly more inconvenient. However, this is a lot more reliable. And yes, it kind of sucks having to reboot every time you switch back and forth, but I'm telling you this is much better. The Opta Run just is such a pain to get it working. If you find a guide online, you follow it and it works right away. Awesome. Uh, I know with the 950 and the 960 and what my other machine, I have a 970 even. Yeah, I have a 50, I have a 50, a 60 and a 70. And these 900 series just have an issue working properly. It's just so much easier to do it this way, in my opinion. So I would reboot right now because it's done. I'm not going to do it now, obviously, because I'm recording. But once you're done, you will be running off of your Intel. Your NVIDIA will be shut down. And if you are running this extension, this GNOME extension, it'll say error because this extension is unable to communicate with the NVIDIA card to get the temperature. So when you see error, that pretty much confirms that you're running the Intel card. Another advantage to doing it this way is when I'm running my NVIDIA card, it's on all the time. So I don't have to go through and choose each individual application that uses my GPU. So for example, OBS, my recording software, uses the GPU for rendering. Adobe Photoshop uses the GPU, KDN Live uses my GPU, Blender uses my GPU. So for me, even though I'm using a laptop, I would rather have the GPU on all the time because I'm always plugged into power anyways. And like I said, those times that I am planning on taking my laptop somewhere, I'll just do this quickly, reboot, close the lid so it goes to sleep, go do what I need to do, battery lasts longer, then I come home, switch it back to NVIDIA, and then I can do my work. And in fact, sometimes I leave it on Intel for extended periods of time, but then I'll go to render something or whatever, and I, I can tell the difference in performance, or I'll fire up one of my Steam games and I either get an error because it needs it, or the performance is just really bad, and then the light bulb goes off that I forgot to switch it back to NVIDIA. So yeah, that takes two or three minutes for me to switch it back, but it, it's totally worth it in the end. Hopefully uh, it's not too disappointing for you guys. I know you guys were looking forward to getting the Bumblebee working to use OptiRun, to use Primus, but I'm telling you right now at this point, it's not 100%. It might work for you. You will have to go in and you'll have to run some sudo update alternatives, you'll have to install certain things, you're going to have to edit config files. So really, it, it's completely up to you. This I feel for the average person is really not that hard. 
other than remembering the commands to type in here, the prime select. I'd like to hear from you guys. Do you guys use Bumblebee? Do you guys use Opteron in 16.04? And do you use it in 18.04? Did you try to install it and use it in 18.04? Myself, I did try and it didn't work. I reverted and I just went with the Ubuntu software and I got it to install it for me. It was really straightforward. It was really easy and didn't have to mess with drivers. So I'd like to hear from you guys. What did you guys do? How did it work out? Are you guys having any kind of major issues? Tell me in the comments below. And lastly, if you guys have an issue with screen tearing, I can show you really quickly how to do that. If you open up a window and you wiggle your window around, for me, this looks really smooth. I'm recording at 30 frames per second, so it might be slightly choppy for you guys on the video. I'm not sure, but um, I did get some screen tearing before, some, some horizontal tearing, and now it's nice and smooth. And for that, you would just do open up a terminal. It's a really easy fix. I'll show you guys how to do it now. So you're going to go sudo nano etc mod probe dot d zz dash nvidia dash mode said dot mode set dot conf. You're going to enter in your password. For you guys, this is probably not going to exist. It's going to be a blank file. So you're going to be creating it and you're going to type in options space NVIDIA underscore DRM space mode set equals one. And then you're going to do control O enter that saves it control X to exit. And then you're going to reboot. This should fix your screen tearing. There are other videos out there. There are other how to's out there where they have the version in here of the driver. As of Ubuntu 18.04, it doesn't care what the driver version is. So all you're going to do is NVIDIA DRM and then that'll fix your issue. So that's it for me for the NVIDIA graphics. Let me know if this helped. Let me know if it got you going. I'd also like to know, like I said earlier, if you guys tried anything, did it work for you? Did it not work for you? And also, are you guys getting screen tearing? I've got my machines here that I do a lot of testing on, and this seems to be a general fix across the board for my machines that have NVIDIA cards. So hopefully this helps you. Hopefully this worked for you. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can also follow me over on Twitter at Dorian.slash. Till next time, guys. Bash on.